Okay. Okay, let's step back on one foot, gather energy, and we're going to lift energy up and paint a rainbow behind you. Did anybody see rainbows yesterday? Lift chi up and paint a beautiful rainbow. Weight on the back foot and feel the foot, the hip, and the arm making a beautiful cycle, a beautiful rainbow. And come upright and feel the difference between the side that worked and didn't work. Step back on the back foot, bend that knee, and feel the rotation from the ankle to the hip, out the shoulder, out the fingertips, painting beautiful rainbows. And come upright and see if you feel a little more balanced on both sides. Bend both knees, thumb over middle finger like a kitten. Wipe the whiskers and groom from behind. Let yourself curl like a kitty cat, rounding to the earth. And opening your heart to the heaven. And it's gentle. The shoulders are relaxed. You feel the shoulders opening and rounding the spine, opening the chest. And come upright and see if you feel a little more awake and your chest open, more chi in the body. Lovely. Bring the weight forward on the toes and then back on the heels. Lift the toes up. We're just going to rock forward a bit. Lift the heels a bit and back on the heels. Lift the toes. Massaging the bottom of your feet and then find the middle. So you're balanced between front and back. Roll on the outside of the foot and roll on the inside. Out and in, massaging the bottoms of your feet. Then find the middle, so your balance between inner, outer, front and back. Lift the fingers and toes, a couple twinkle toes. And release back down and allow root energy to rise from Mother Earth all the way up to the heaven as you breathe in. And all the breath out, your tree blossoms. Allow energy to rise from the earth, through the body, to the top of the tree, the beautiful magnolia trees, fruit trees. So many trees are in bloom right now. Visualize energy rising through you like a tree. So you can peak and flower. And reverse. Now, as we reverse, as the arms start going up, we're going to start rotating the palms up as the shoulder blades kiss, shoulders are down. Keeping the shoulders down, then we gather chi to the heaven, visualize beyond the ceiling, beyond the blue sky, beyond the sun, the moon and the stars as infinite energy is pure light. We will slowly pour this light into your body. Visualize every cell illuminated. Dissolving tension, dissolving blockage, dissolving dis-ease and diseases out of your body. Pouring it out of the roots and into the earth. And we repeat, as the arms come up, they rotate, shoulder blades kiss, shoulders are down as we connect to the infinite source. And as we pour this healing light into your own body, visualize all of your loved ones receiving. As you receive, they receive. Chi goes where your mind goes. So we're bringing the chi through every cell of your body. Into the earth and roots below. And one more time. Arms up, shoulders down, gathering the chi. And as we pour this healing light into our own body, visualize all beings on the planet receiving this healing right now. Everything that breathes receives. Taking an extra breath where you need it the most. Beautiful. As we stand in grace, the inner thighs, hug, shoulder blades, kiss, feel the inner smile. You're all looking so good. Bring the feet together. If you need it wider for balance, do so. If not, bring them together. 
the middle finger at the small of the back, inner thighs hug, and our tree dances in the breeze. Find that fluidity in your body. And massage up and down, and back and forth. Really keep the kidneys warm and go the other direction. Being gentle. Feel that fluidity in your body. And place one hand over the heart, the other over that. We smile into your heart. Relax, breathing, unconditional love. Now open your feet, shoulder hip width distance. And when you lift the foot up, you're going to feel where the hip goes in the socket at one tiao. So our fingers are at one tiao. And then we cup your laogon point over one tiao, soften the knees, and now when the hips are forward, weights on the toes, hips to the side, weight on the side foot, hips to the back, weight on the heels. So let everything flow right now through your body. Everything is fluid. Unraveling tension. And then massage, use your lab while hitting palms to different parts of the body. Massaging as you need it, where you need it. Come back to Wantia. Again, come, have, come back to your feet with your balance between front and back and inner outer foot. Soften the knees so the knees are over the second toe, keeping the feet rooted. Now we circle the other direction. The weight does not go to the heels or toes, it stays centered. But the rest of the body is as fluid as it was before. Relax breathing. And drop your tail massage. You know where you need it. Place your healing palms there. Now bring the feet together again and put the middle finger into the navel and you're gonna push it in and up. You're activating the core muscles and breathing. Now breathe in the belly. Keeping the weight lifted off the legs, we're gonna bend the knees with a flat back. So there's no weight in my knees. I'm bending from the quad. I'm activating the core and breathing and I'm circling the knees to the right. And massage the knees, loving energy to the knees. And we'll go to the left. Massage. Now hug the inner thighs and lift up the heels. You're on the balls of the foot, you're on chin, and we're going to circle to the right. If you have balance problems, you don't need to lift high, but just a little bit. And your lag on palms and one T out, go down the outside, going down the gallbladder channel. Hands on the knees, lift the core, lift the heels as you go to the left. So we're on the balls and back to the heels. Open your feet, shoulder hip with distance, draw the chi up the inside of the body, the yin meridians. Then bend the knees and roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. And then massage where you need it the most. So I know where I need it. Where do you need it? Always modify. Never place your body into stress or pain. And stand in grace. Inner thighs hug. Shoulder blades kiss. Feel the inner smile. Oh, you are looking good. Let's allow the energy to rise from the earth, root the energy rising up with your mind and bring it to the lower belly, smiling. Our thumbs are two inches apart, index finger one inch apart, and we're hovering over the belly, smiling into the core of your being. Bring the hands to the heart center, smiling, and we have one straight line, elbow third, finger to elbow, shoulder blades kiss, opens up the chest. 
at the middle Dante and the heart center. We come to the upper Dante and the spiritual center. Shoulders stay down. Relax and calm your mind. Third finger to the crown of five way. Then interlace fingers. Slowly turn the wrists up and keep the shoulders down as you lengthen the arms up to the heaven. And eyes look up. You're going to bend the knees and tilt the body back as the hips go forward. So I'm not bending my back. I'm just bringing the hips forward, allowing me to look towards the heaven. And then we're going to go to your right side as far as you can reach to your right. And the other side. Feel that wonderful stretch. And come center as if we're unzipping a zipper. The thumbs go down the chest and out. So as I'm coming down like an unzipping a zipper, making a nice circle here. And then standing, grace, center thighs, hug, shoulder blades, kiss, feel the inner smile. And now we're going to imagine bending the palms face the earth, the eyes face the earth. Then the hands will draw chi up, bring it to the outside of your right foot and visualize the chi moving into the earth. And drawing chi up, the outside of your left foot. And slide in the middle. Now, bend the knees with a flat back. I'm bending at the claw with a flat back. I go to the earth. I have a tabletop back. My hands would draw chi up the outside of the right heel. Draw chi up outside of the left heel. Slide in the middle, relax the spine and roll the vertebrae by vertebrae. Coming back into grace, hug, kiss, smile. Notice the breathing, lovely. Now you're gonna roll down, the head goes down, shoulders go down, lift the core as you're rolling the body round, down. Hanging over. Let gravity take over. The hands will draw chi up, knee height, the outside of the right heel. Draw chi up, knee height, outside of the left heel, press down. Slide in the middle, bend the knees, roll up vertebra by vertebra. Coming back into grace, I can smile. Nice. Now we're gonna bend at the quad, lifting from the core. We go about 15 degrees, so it's a lot of core work. You're feeling this in your gut. The hands will draw chi up outside the right heel. Visualize it going to the heel. Then the hands will draw chi up and visualize it going to the left heel. Slide in the middle and come upright. Now the next time you can go as deep as you would like to bend. This is your bend. Activate the core, bending at the quad, and stretch and breathe. Don't overdo it, but enjoy it. The hands will draw chi up outside the right heel. Draw chi up outside the left heel. Slide in the middle and then circle down and out, releasing stagnant energy in the lower body. Holding on the elbow, circling down and out. Take your love on palms and come to one toe, slapping from one toe down towards the ankle. And brush it down. Then the knees that are on the vertebrae, the vertebrae. Feel the feet rooted, the tail rooted, the core lifted. Hug his smile. Nice. Open a little wider, sit on the saddle of your horse. Hug his smile and place all the weight on your left foot. Feel energy rise from the roots, through the leg, into the belly, and then the energy moves to the other foot. 
So energy is rising from the roots through the legs into the lower down to yin and passes into the other foot, creating a, a rainbow between the feet to the belly to the other foot. Make sure you don't lean when you bring the weight to the one foot. We remain upright, but you still feel the fit, the energy rising in and sinking down. Now come center, drop the paws and see if you feel more energy in the hands and feet. I, my hands are redder. If you feel more energy, raise the hands so we know that you've received more chi in the body. Lovely. Sit back down, all the way down the left foot. Right heel has no weight. I'm on the heel, I'm lifting from the core, bending at the quad, hands on the left thigh, elongate your spine. And just breathe into that wonderful stretch. Then I'm going over my right leg and I'm gonna warm up the leg as I relax the spine. Weight on the back leg, knee bent. Hands over my right thigh, I'm gonna elongate the spine. My nose is over my second toe. Index finger sinks to the earth. Thumb index middle finger stem roots. 10 finger stem roots. If you're flexible enough to touch the toe, do so. If not, visualize your chin sinking towards your toe and just breathe into it. Then give love pat. Inner and outer leg. to the ankle. Then your right hand goes down the outer meridian, the left hand comes up the inside the in meridian. Come back center, bend the knees, roll up slowly, vertebra by vertebra. Coming back in the grace and you're gonna feel lopsided. One side's more stretched than the other. Sit back on the saddle of your horse, all the way down the back leg, heel, no weight. Lift the core, go over your right leg with a long spine. Get that wonderful stretch. Then go over the left leg and warm it up. And come over the left leg, elongate the spine, nose over second toe. Index finger sink to the earth. Thumb index middle finger. And finger sinks and roots. If you can touch the toe, do so if not visualize, but try to keep the spine long and the front leg long. Thank you, love pets. Your left hand goes down the outside, right hand up the inside, the inside brushing, whisking, and come back parallel. Slowly come up vertebra by vertebra. Standing in grace, lovely. Middle finger at, at the small of the back, it means men, soften both knees. All the way down the left foot, try to draw the right toe in towards the ankle inner thighs hug. This is a balance, see if you can lift the toe up. If not, you can hold on to something for balance, but we're trying to stand one leg. And even if you lift half an inch, it's good. Go to the other side, drag the toe in, feel the inner thighs hugging. Look at a point, I'm looking at the green light on my computer so I could focus on it. Other side. As I lift up, go across the body. Lift up and step out. You can hold on to something for balance if you need to on this. Then we're going to kick out any tension, any frustration, any negativity. Chest is open, shoulder blades kiss. As you kick out through the heel, we're activating the bladder meridian. It's really good for releasing tension out of the body. And go a little higher, go across the body, activates the lymphatic system. Then we start low pointing the toes, get the in meridians. And go higher. Exhale. 
And stand in grace, hug his smile, and see if you feel more blood flow, chi flow in your body. Oh, you are looking good. Soften the knees and allow the chi to rise from Mother Earth. Slowly, like a magnet to the lower Dantian, smiling. Into the heart center, smiling. Then open your arms. As we connect, we are 10 of us. Visualize each person eight feet apart, third finger connected. Relax the elbows, the shoulders, soften the knees. As we create this beautiful circle, all connected together in the middle of pure healing light, we are creating a circle of healing energy. If there's someone you're caring for, imagine they are in the middle receiving the healing, unconditional love and healing light. Then visualize yourself standing in the middle, basking and receiving, giving chi to each other. Our third finger, the heart protector, is all, we're all connected together. Then gather chi back to yourself. Give yourself a great big hug. We all deserve big hugs. Then open your heart again, all 10 fingers connected. Soften the elbows, the knees, and now symbolically, with all fingers connected together, we connect to all life force and all living beings. And we feel pure gratitude for all the blessings in our life. Feeling gratitude to all the people who are working hard out there so we can be safe at home. All the healthcare workers giving us vaccinations and in the hospitals, all the farmers, the truck drivers bringing the food, the clerks selling it to us, everyone who's working hard so we can be safe at home. We send healing blessings. And gather the chi back to yourself. Give yourself a hug. Then bring the feet together and take your right arm and let it wrap around your neck. Take your left elbow under and turn to the left. My head turns to the right as my right hand tries to touch the right ear. The left hand faces left ear. Lower the tail, lift the core. I'm spiraling my eyes up to the full moon to the right. And push back, release. Take your left arm, let it wrap around the neck. The right elbow hooks it to the right side. Head turns to the left as left hand tries to touch left ear. Right hand faces right ear, lower the tail, lift the core, look over the left shoulder up to the full moon. And push back. With the fingers wide open and moving from the shoulders, we're releasing toxins out of your lungs, helping to strengthen our lungs during this pandemic season. Let's just push all negativity out so we have clear, healthy lungs. And stop for a moment and just feel the chi flow in your body. You can breathe easier. So when you have problems breathing, you know what to do. Just push back. It's very easy. Now, lunge forward on your left foot. Hips face that left foot. Bend that right elbow and the shoulder comes up to the ear. Forward up, back down. Then lengthen the arm and the shoulder and continue circling. And reverse, bend the elbow, shoulder up to the ear, circling. Lower the arm, shoulder, and slice down. And now left foot turns in, pivot on the right heel, the hips are over the right leg, 
Again, that left elbow circling, that left shoulder, forward up, back down. Then lengthen the arm down, keep the shoulder down as the arm is long. And go as slow as you need to here. And go the other direction, bend the elbow, shoulder up to the ear, really moving that shoulder. Then lengthen the arm down and slice down. Both arms are going to flip flop to the right and to the left, to the shoulder and the kidneys. So I'm not moving my chest, my arms going around the upper body. And release, turn that right toe in, pigeon toe, then pivot on the left heel, turn the hips over to the left leg. And again, the hips stay where they are. So does the chest, it's the arms that are going around. And step back and feel more chi flow in your body. Lovely. We're going to start doing our points now. So if you'd like to sit, you can get a chair or if you want to do it standing up to you. If you want to drink something, this would be a good time for it. Okay, so actually we're going to first give chi to the arm. The right hand goes over the left hand from the tips of the fingers through the webs, ironing the wrist straight. So it's sort of a brushing movement. It's opening up the bashi points, which are between the fingers, the webbing. And the bashi point is where stagnant energy is stuck. And it's like releasing the devil's chi, the negative energy out of the body. So you look when you're doing it. You look at your hands as you're moving the chi and go to the other side. Tips, tops, webbing. Okay, then come to the center of the palm, your lao gan. We're going to gently press, breathe in. Relax, release on the breath out. Your own breath rhythm. On the heart protector, to calm the mind, calm the heart. Let go of worry. Whenever you're anxious, this is a good thing to do. And go to the other Lao Gan. Thumb in the middle. I'm pushing the inner and outer point, but I'm focusing on the inner as I breathe in. Your own breath rhythm. Anybody feel calmer after doing that? Raise your hand if, you, if that helps calm you down. It does calm me down a lot. Okay, now the center, we have the hegu, the fleshy point between the thumb and index finger. So we press here and release. For headaches, toothaches, constipation, dehydration, hangovers. And the other side. Okay. Three finger scouts on or under the wrists. One, two, three. Where the third finger is, I put the thumb, neg one, and then, then the other finger behind it, wag one. So I'm going to think of the inner point, neg one, as I gently press in, as I breathe in. And breathe out. So again, this is on the heart protector, calming the mind, but it also is good when you feel queasy and uneasy. It's really good for just calming, settling things down. Then we go to the other side. When I do the three fingers inner, I'm focusing on the outer point, my wagwan. And this is a point for balancing, like a thermostat to the body, regulating chi as you gently press in. Relax on the breath out. A 
And now I take my right arm with the left thumb, I touch my right thumb and go all the way to the crease of the elbow to cheese it. Cheese it on the lung meridian for breathing problems and tendonitis. Again, press, breathe in and breathe out, release. Then I go beyond the tendon, just in front of the elbow bone. There is a place to put the finger and this is on the large intestine meridian, a probiotic point to enrich more flora in your intestines. And go the other side. So I'm gonna follow the thumb to the crease of the elbow. Relax breathing. And then go beyond the tendon to the cheese, to the um, probiotic point. Okay. So we remember when we're giving chi from your Laogon point under the points of the elbow, under the neguan and waguan. So just do this for yourselves a little bit, rocking forward and back, just giving chi under the elbow. So we're preparing our arms for when we do it in the form. So I'm going slow enough to feel the energy from my hand giving chi to the different points that we've already worked on. And I'm folding at the claw with a flat back. So I'm just rocking forward and back, giving chi from the elbow, following that line, the channels we've been working on. So it's a chi massage. We're bathing the points, regulating chi in your body. And come, just sit for a moment and you may experience some more energy in the body or more calming. Beautiful. Take the index finger at the collarbone where it's connected in the middle at the end. Then we find the middle of each bone, which should be directly over the nipple. Index finger hooks on top like a hanger at Chwepin. Thumb hooks below it, you're holding the bone at Chihu. And we move these gauzing wings. This is good for cough, asthma, sore throat, and hiccups. And it really works. Really also loosens up frozen shoulders. That's a chi door to your lungs. And then rest and notice your breathing. Is it fuller? Can you feel the difference? When you open up those points, immediately more oxygen goes through your body and the old stale chi is released from the lungs. Beautiful. Now take, um, let's see, raise your right arm up. My left hand comes under the armpit. I'm gonna take my right thumb under the left baby finger to my owl point, dow bow. And then I'm gonna lift the left hand up, the right hand goes underneath. I'm gonna take my left thumb under the right baby finger to the owl. The hand that's up comes down now. Jane, bring the hand down under this hand until you find owl. Then you know you're at dow bow. And then your Laogan palms on Dao Bao, and we give good chi to Dao Bao, which is on the spleen channel, strengthens our immune system, gives good chi to your heart, helps us absorb nutrients in the foods we eat and absorb ideas that we are learning. Then we come to lymphatic system at the groin. And then one palm over the others, we smile as we give good chi to the lower dantian. As smiling has a profound effect on the functioning of our organs and our well being. Really good for digestion. And come to the heart center, smiling into your heart, unconditional love and joy, passion and compassion for others, self love. 
self-care. Right hand over left shoulder, we get our weapon and she who the left hand under the left rib, I'm breathing into my entire left lung. On the other side. And take your right hand over the left shoulder, give yourself a pat on the back for coming out, lift your right elbow, get underneath the shoulder blade, getting gowling and face you. And then we'll push back any stagnant energy out of the body and the left hand will go over the right shoulder, lift the elbow up so you can get as far down as you can. And push back. Releasing stagnant energy, fingers wide open and then rest and notice the breath. More oxygen, blood flow, chi flow, beautiful. Now opening your right hand, the hegu point, we're going to fluff from your right um, rib to the chin. We're just gonna fluff 10 times from the right ear to the left ear, fluffing the chi upright. And after 10 fluffs, go from the left ear, fluffing to the right from your chest up to the chin. And then open your left hand. Again, this Hegu point is going to start at the ribs to the left ear, fluffing 10 times. My right palm is open, so she will rise. And then 10 fluffs back. And just sit in grace, take a smile and feel that wonderful chi rising within you. Third finger to the third eye, yin tang. We gently press the yin tang and wipe away any tension, any worry, any headaches. From yin tang to tai yang. Then we come to the inner corner of the eye, the tear duct, Jing Ming, bright eye point. We massage here at the tear duct and then go under the eyes, washing away tears. Then Yin Xiang, welcome fragrance point. And we go underneath the cheekbones, create a great big smile, clown smile. Two fingers above and below the lips, back and forth, supporting the chi. Like you're brushing your teeth on the outside and the other side. And then pinch, release, release any stagnant energy all the way up to the ears. And then put your index finger under the ear. You know where you are when you open and close the jaw. And the middle finger over the flap. And we're going to make faces like Halloween or angry or funny. Make lots of faces and sounds. Loosen up the jaw. Loosen all the tension in your face. We can make these funny sounds and faces. And then massage your earlobes. We have acupressure points in the ears connected to the entire body. And so when you massage your ears indirectly, you're giving chi to all parts of the body. And then the inner crevices. Then two fingers like peace and the ear in the middle, we're gonna fluff good chi up, fluffing. And then shake it out. Shake, 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 shake. And then cup chi under the chin. Keep the elbows forward as you give chi from the face to the third eye to bai hui. And then begin to open the elbows. And then bring the chi back down. As we wash face, comb hair seven times, creating a protective halo. 
If you have any negative chi that needs to be released in the few, first few times and shake it off. And then continuously protecting now. Tongue touching upper palate, creating this beautiful protective halo around you from the face to the back of the head, grooming the chi behind you. And then slowly let the chi flow down the spine, down, 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 down. And then as the arms begin to rise, lower the elbows, shoulder blades kiss, palms rotate up. As keeping the shoulders down, we bring the chi to the hair chi height, like a halo. And facing the third eye, we give chi as we slowly relax the mind. The eyes begin to get heavy and then bring it to the heart and the eyes are almost closed. And bring the chi to the belly, the eyes are closed. And then just rest the hands on the thighs. Inner thighs hug, shoulder blades kiss, feel the inner smile. And take six slow breaths in and out to relax the mind. Tongue catching up her palate. Then slowly, softly open your eyes. And hopefully you feel a little more inner peace. And we're going to go over the new movements, but I forgot to do some of the points that we need to cover today. Um, remember Yung Chin at the bottom of the foot and the ball. Um, so, Ideally, we don't do this in the, um, when you're learning it. Ideally, okay, your right hand is going to, this is my left foot, my right hand, I create a claw or a beak, and then I put my hand above the collar, and, or am I doing this wrong? Yeah, left foot, left hand, claw, a weapon. Right hand, when we make the circle, the hand comes down, rotate the um, palm up, shoulder down. As the hand rises, I look into my right palm and I'm going to imagine giving chi to the foot. If you can do it standing, do it seated. It's maybe if you have the foot propped on something, it may be a little easier. So this is ideally we touch this point. But in the form, when you're beginning, I say touch your knee, because so you don't have to go all the way down. So, um, so I just want to give you what this is about. And then I say push forefoot when we lift our wings, one, two, three. Or if you're more advanced, then if I'm touching my left foot, my left elbow goes back, my right elbow goes forward. So I'm creating this counter action of opening up all the meridians in the body called a microcosmic orbit. Okay, so I just, and then just try the other side. So I don't know if you can touch or imagine, I'm just so, the ball of the foot is your yung chin. And so with my right foot out, my right hand is, comes above the collar at Schweppin, left hand, if you're able to touch that point, if not, you touch the knee. And then we either flap the wings if you're new once, twice, three times, or um, the right elbow goes back and say, 
Yes, <laughs> we're going um, clockwise now, three times. Okay, so those are the points that I want us to do. So even though we're seated and then we'll stand to do the new movements. So what we're doing today, again, uh, let's go from our turning hands over. So you get that nice stretch. Elbows are lengthened as much as you're able. And then we're going to here, you can barely bend, come forward. Lift the hands up, come to the outside of the left foot, come down. Lift the hands up, come the outside of the right foot, push down. Slide in the middle and push the hands one foot far from each foot. And then you turn the palms over and we come to our um, 12 is a rocking horse. And then you put the left heel out, right hand under left elbow, we rock forward. We rock back. Left hand creates the claw to weapon. My right hand sends chi to the left foot, right foot. And as I come upright, I lower the shoulder, elbow down, palm up, and there's light in my right hand. I'm gonna shine it to the toe, but I'm actually gonna to touch my uh, knee. Touch the knee, and then you're gonna flap your wings four foot three times, once, twice three times. Then on my left heel, I'm gonna pivot it forward so the toe goes down parallel. And I'm gonna take my right foot and I'm gonna push my right hand out one foot far. I'm gonna turn my right hand forward and come center. And then I'm going to come up, I'm gonna create a claw on the right hand, bring it to the right collar and then go down with the left hand to the foot, to the side. And so my right heel um, uh, is touching, my toes are up, I'm looking at my left hand. My left hand's gonna give chi to the right foot, but I'm gonna bring it to the knee. I'm gonna flap my wings three times, once, twice, three times. And then I'm gonna pivot on my right heel forward and then push out negative chi with the left hand, pushing chi, and then bring it back center and come upright. And then we close. Now, did I go over both sides last week or is this the first time? Raise your hands if I'd already gone over both sides. Okay, I got, I, so we're just, this is as far as we're going today. So now we're gonna do the standing. So um, we're gonna go from number one to 19. I'm gonna walk you, talk you through it. So starting form, we stand in grace, have you smile. Feel the feet evenly balanced. Your laogan palms give good chi to one chi out as you go down. Number two, stretching wings. And as you come up towards the heaven, shoulders down, palms as high as the ears, bend the knees, bring the hips forward, lift the heels. Then you lower the heels as we gather cheese. You close the wings out there directly into the lower dantian. So we're hovering into our triangle, two inches apart, index fingers one inch apart. Then we release the wrists as we draw chi up, get ready to push and set our wings. Fingers are up, they go out, activate the core, barely bending. Then as you push the wings to the side, behind you, we create our claws, fingers together, hug the inner thighs, have you touch the shen chi, and we release negative chi out. And we repeat that. You look between the palms, activate the core, barely bending, pushing the arms to the side, behind you, we create that claw, have you touch the shen chi, lift the heels, and then we come down in that right angle. 
Good. And now as we lift, number eight, we bring chi to trepan and chi hu, then under the chin, give chi to the third eye, to bai hui at the crown, elbows forward. And then we open the elbows and close hands. And we turn our hands. Shoulders stay down and elbows lengthen, eyes up to the ceiling. And then you're going to barely bend as you come forward, center. Lift the hands up from the outside of the left heel, press down. Lift chi up from the outside of the right foot, push down. Slide in the middle, and then we're going to turn the hands, fold the chi, bend the knees. We come for a rocking horse. Weight on the right foot as you pivot on the ball, the left foot, right hand under left elbow. We rock forward on under the elbow, past the fingertips. Left hand under the right elbow, rock back, flex your left foot. Create a claw with the left hand to trep and above the collar. Right hand gives good chi to the left foot, the right foot. As you come upright, you bring the elbow down, shoulder down, and look on the right palm. Bend that right knee as you give chi to the left knee. And push forefoot three times, once, twice, three times. Now put that left foot down. Now, as the right hand pushes the chi, stay on the ball of the left foot and open the left heel parallel. Put that heel down. Then turn the right palm back center. You're gonna look at the right palm as you bend the elbow. Create a claw with the right hand over the right collar. Bend the left knee, come on the right heel, point to the right foot, left foot, as you're coming all the way upright, left knee stays bent. Drop the elbow and shoulder down, looking into the left palm. The left palm is going to face the right toe, but go to the right knee. Go to the knee and push forward for three times. Once, twice, three times. Then pivot on the right heel forward so the toe comes in. And let's just come slowly up. Then the arms will come to the side, palms up, and give chi to the third eye and bring that healing chi from the upper dantian to the middle dantian, to the lower dantian. And close. So now we're going to do from the lift, we're gonna do this part again. Activate the core, barely bend center. Lift the chi up to the outside of the left foot, push down towards the left heel. Lift chi up the outside of the right heel, push down. Slide in the middle. Now press the palms one foot far from each foot. Turn the palms over, bend the knees. Pivot on the ball of the left foot. Right hand under left elbow. Rock forward on the left foot as you give chi from the left elbow past the fingertips. Rock back on the right foot as you give chi from the right elbow past the fingertips. Flexing the left foot. Create a claw with the left hand above the collar and weapon. Right hand faces left toe, right foot. And as you come upright, bring the elbow down, shoulder down. Look at the left palm, bend that right knee. And the right hand is going to give chi to the left knee. And you're going to flap your wrists three times, push four foot three times, once, twice, three times. Put your left foot down. And as you push the right hand out, pivot on the left foot so the left heel opens wider. Put that foot down. Hand goes one foot far to the side, the right hand. Come back center, bend the right elbow and create a claw with the right hand above the right collar. Bend the left knee, right a heel touches right toe up, give chi from the right foot to the left foot. Keep the left knee bent as you come upright, lower the shoulder, elbow, look at the left palm. Ta-da, give chi to the right knee, touch the right knee. Flap your wings three times, once, twice, three times. Then push chi, pivot on the heel so the toe comes in. 
and push negative chi out with the left hand and come upright. And we'll slowly bring the arms up, elbows down, and gather chi up to the hair chi height. And pour it down into the body. Okay, we're going to do that one more time without me talking this time. We'll see how we do. And we're doing it again from the bend, and then we'll go the whole thing through. Whew, that is the end of the instructions. So what I'm going to do right now is if anybody has any particular questions before we go through the whole thing, this would be the time and you can unmute yourselves if you need to and I'm going to stop the recording. Um,